Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to add a sound clip to your uh, animation project that we're working on. So I want you to go to Mozilla and get to Google and then you're going to search free sound clips and they need to be MP3 format. And I found um, SoundJ I, that was the one that I went to. I tried Universal and Freesound, and um, that wasn't as easy to use. So if you go to SoundJ, it says that you are allowed to use their sound effects, but you're not allowed to put them on your website for other people to download. So go to SoundJ.com, and then you got to figure out what kind of sound are you looking for. Are you looking for a background sound? Are you looking for um like a door slamming so that's what i was helping one group do so i went here to house and domestic because it says doors under there so i clicked doors and then i i found there were lots of different sounds there were creaking door sounds there were doors closing um so i wanted to find one that it sounded like the door was uh being slammed so i just kind of read the description underneath um and I ended up going to the second page and let's see glass door closing folding door closing trap door nah okay next page I'm just skimming looking okay here is a door with a window being closed a door push and pulled closed sound effect alright let's hear that nah that doesn't sound that good we want it this one says softly we don't really want it um, to be closed. Now this one says the sound of a storage room door. So let's see. Alright, that sounds good. So I want to download the MP3. So I click download. I want to save the file. Notice this green arrow up here says that it's downloading. Alright, click that and I can see there's my door close. So up oh, it downloaded. Good. So let's go back to downloads and then I gotta click this uh, folder here just to make sure see right there it's saved okay so now I know that it's in my download folder so you have to go into your smart notebook file and I'm gonna get a picture of a door because that's what I want it, the sound to be attached to so here's a door that I've got and I want to attach the sound to this so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go down to sound and I want to play the sound from a file so I click browse it automatically took me to my downloads if it doesn't over here click where it says downloads and then pick your sound now this is real important down here you can have a corner icon it'll be like a little paper clip or you can make the object itself make the sound when you click it so I want the door when I click it to make the sound and then you can preview the sound right here alright so it's attached to the object and it's the sound that I want so I click it save it say attach sound and now every time I click that door in the smart board it is going to have that sound attached to it 